Hey, hi everybody. I'm words and I'm feeling awesome. <laughs> Man, I should make writing my career. <laughs> Too early or late, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> as long as I'm so looking at I you, Haley. Welcome to day one of NaNoWriMo. I am not doing great. I, it is almost 6 p.m. I started writing at midnight with Casey and Haley and we did great. We all hit what we needed to hit. Casey and I went over as per usual, but I haven't written anything since 2 a.m. And it's now almost 6 p.m. And day one, day one is usually like my highest wordiest day. I usually get really, really ahead and I'm not, I'm ahead right now. I've written 4,133 words, so I'm ahead, but I'm not like really ahead, which is what I wanted to be. And I was sick all night. Like I stopped writing at 2 a.m. and I was sick all night, just feeling so nauseous. And I literally just got out of bed like half an hour ago. I just felt so sick all day. So I've not accomplished anything. Um, I did, I did write enough words, so I'm just beating myself up for nothing, but gonna try to do some more word sprints here in a little while and we're gonna see how it goes hopefully I'll start feeling less trashy of NaNoWriMo, I wrote 7,552 words, which is a lot. It's a lot. But it's not as many as I wanted to write. So, I'm not doing my best, but I'm still happy with what I've done so far. I'm not happy with what I've written, but I'm happy with my word count. But when I feel like everything I'm writing is trash, it's just like not great. It's not, it doesn't feel great. But I feel like every time you start nano like you have to get just like a solid chunk of like garbage written before you can like really get into the flow of things and feel like what you're writing is good um pro tip don't delete your writing because that goes to your word count so if you write stuff that you don't like just like put brackets around it so you know that like that's what you want to delete when you go back through to edit and then just keep writing but yeah, i don't like a lot of what i've written so far but we'll see how it continues I am not sick anymore, so that's nice, but I still just don't feel great. We'll see how it goes. Jillian's trying to figure out if she's good at anything besides killing people. <laughs> or she's in her own mind, but like, what else do I do? <laughs> Who am I? How many words are words, Casey? I'm at 10k and I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 12k and I'm also dying. Yeah. Day two okay. for the win. <laughs> Hello friends. I don't think I filmed an update for day two of Nano. And so that's what this is. About 5,288 words on day two, which is a lot which put me at 12,840 12, as my total word count. Most of it's trash. <laughs> I finally started writing a few things that I, like, I don't hate, that I'm actually like really been actually putting like some meat into the scenes and it's not just like the bare bones that are in my brain already. I'm actually trying to flesh some of these things out, which has been nice, but I've like only just started getting to that point with my writing, so pretty much most of what I've written so far I kind of hate. So hopefully going forward it will get better. We'll see. Um, yeah. So that was all I did for day two. I did a lot of sprints earlier in the evening with Casey and Haley, and um, been doing some sprints in my writing Discord group. There's only like a small handful. There's like six or seven of us in there, but I'll be leaving the link for that down in the description down below in this video. So if you want to join the writing group Discord and just get some motivation or like talk about your project or just whatever you know just like do sprints uh join it please we're anyone's welcome so we've only got a few people so i would like to have a few more people in the discord because it would be fun for me so it is 2 30 in the morning now so we're technically on to day three and uh 
November 3rd is a day. It's a day. Luckily for you, when you're watching this, we'll be past this. I don't know if we'll know anything yet by the time you see this video, so who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But I have to get up at some point tomorrow to go vote. My voting place is this school that's literally right across the street from my house. Like I can, I look out the window and it's there. So like I don't even have to drive. I'm just gonna walk over <laughs> and do it. But I also have to work tomorrow. It's gonna be a day. I'm not gonna get a lot of writing done. So anything that I can get written now tonight in the very early AM hours is going to be all I get written for day three of NaNo. I'm not gonna be able to do any sprints later, which I knew was the thing. I knew this was happening. So I was prepared. So far I have written, um, 1,000 some words? I've written 1,169 words after midnight for day three. I would like to at least hit 2,000. I want to write at least 2,000 every day and obviously like I'm really ahead and I'm doing great but I still just want to get in that habit of having written bigger chunks each day if I can. So that's what I'm doing now. I just ate dinner. I just had some spaghetti and I'm gonna try to write a bit more and then I'm going to try to sleep because tomorrow's going to be the longest day ever. <sighs> and I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I haven't written much in the story. Like, I've written, what did I say, 14,000 fucking words so far. And, like, not much has happened. And I hate that. So hopefully in the next couple of days and, like, throughout the rest of this vlog, I will start getting some actual stuff written <laughs> that, like, matters. Like, plot things and... Cause right now I'm writing like a lot of character moments, which are great and fun and I like writing them, but it feels like nothing's happening, like nothing's progressing, so. And it also just, I feel like I'm trying so hard to maintain structure in this book and it's, it's a struggle, it's a struggle. So we'll see if I can get a better hold on that later in this week. But that's my update for tonight, day two, end of day two and beginning of day three. I may not have another update. For you for day three because you know why. words. I'm doing it, you guys. I don't know why this says that I've written zero days straight because that's a lie, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> update. It is 4 a.m. on November 4th, so I'm having a great time. <laughs> the world's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, so yeah, um, I did not write a ton on the 3rd. I had to get up really early and go vote, which I did, and it was actually really quick. It was like we were in and out within like 30 minutes, which was fabulous. And I slept most of the day because I didn't go to sleep until like 8 a.m. And then I went to work at 6 p.m. So 15,030 words as my total on day three. So now that we are past midnight, I've been doing writing for day four because I have to work again tomorrow and I'm just gonna be dead and I don't get home till 10 p.m. And also just everything that's going on right now and I'm stressed. So I'm trying to get my words done in the late, you know, evening, technically early morning for the day, whatever. You know what, time zones, it's like, everything's stupid. Everything's stupid. I just wrote uh, 2,200 and, wait, no, I can't, where's my fucking scrivener? Okay, hang on. So I wrote 2,227 words today for day four, at four in the morning, <laughs> which has put me at 17,257 as my total, which I'm feeling good about. Again, I, I think I mentioned this earlier in my vlog, I'm feeling good about my writing total for the words, my word count. I'm doing great, I'm really ahead. But about 10,000 of that 17,000 words is trash. Like I just, I don't, I'm not happy with what I've written. <sighs> I don't know. I just, trying to make the structure work in this novel is difficult because there's just so much I want to put in. And like, I'm focusing so much on like those like small moments 
and that's great and I've been writing some of those and some of them are turning out okay like I don't hate like every scene I've written but just trying to like make the flow between each scene and everything connect between like the switching of point of views and things it's just there's a huge disconnect there with all of it and I feel like I did not have this problem last year when I wrote the first half of this book. I feel like I I did it really well. I feel like the structure was really good. Like obviously I needed to go back and add in some scenes that like I skipped or like add stuff to a scene when it was just a little kind of thin and it was just like the bare bones. But like the flow from chapter to chapter was just, it was better than it is now when I'm just having so much trouble like making everything connect and it's just a hot mess. And I'm hoping that like the further we get into the month and into Nano, I'll get a better hold on the structure of the novel and things will make sense because I really want to finish this draft during you know during November I want the draft to be finished and then I want to after Nano work on fixing it <laughs> and editing it and stuff but I don't want to leave myself such a trash fire like I want it to be decent now enough that it you know it doesn't require just like so much fucking work when I go in for the first round of edits and stuff so that's my biggest problem right now is just that like not getting the the structure and like just the the scenes to like flow well from scene to scene so that's my big problem right now keep updating you guys as we go throughout the week and we'll see how things are at the end of this week uh, for week one of nano but right now I'm not feeling great about what I'm writing but I'm doing very good on my word count so like there's a little you know good and bad and then there everything in, in life isn't great right now. <laughs> I just wanted to pop back in here because I had a comment on my novel prepping video which if you missed that and you want to watch the video where I was like prepping my novel for Nano and I went over like how I did my outline and like all the things I did to prep for it I'll link that uh, I'll link that video down below if you want to watch that in that video I made a comment about how stupid all of my character names are and somebody commented saying that they really wanted to know what the character names are now because I pointed out how stupid they were because I know at some point I'll probably talk about them in these vlogs and I haven't yet. So I will say that I just now wrote a scene with two of my characters, two of my favorite characters, they're all my favorite, don't listen to me, they're all my children. Anyways, one of whom is named Rainy Summers and the other is named Dice Sky. That's right, a character named Dice Sky. <laughs> 17 year old Brianna came up with these names because she just thought she was the coolest person the most unique person in the world and they're all so fucking stupid and that's just two of them you know I feel like that's not like that but no that's that's just two of them wait till you hear the rest because I just wanted to throw that in there because I know I might forget to do it in this vlog if I don't actually talk about like what I'm working on in a given clip or anything um so I wrote a cute scene between Rainy and Dice and it got me past 17k, so there we are. Bye. Hello friends, I forgot to film a clip for day five. So this is my clip for day five. I am so tired. I have had a very full day, I didn't get a lot of sleep. And then I got up to do writing sprints with Haley and Casey. And we did a bunch of writing sprints and we wrote a bunch. And then we played Among Us for a while, which was really, really fun. And then we just, chatted for a bit after that and it's really late and I'm super tired. I wrote so much for day five though. I wrote, what did I write? I wrote 4,505 words, putting my total at 21,762, which is fabulous. The only reason I wrote so much was because I wrote like 2,000 words after midnight last night, which went for today. And then I did all the writing sprints with my friends. And we tend to get a lot written when we do the writing sprints, although it was a struggle today. I don't have much more to say about that because I'm super stressed out about the elections and stuff and it's, just, it's been a wild day. So that's all you get from me for day five, but I'll, I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> for day six. <laughs> no, no, okay, but... Hello, friends. Today is day... I don't know days anymore, you guys. It's been so many days. Today is day six of Rhino. I'm 1,543 words. Which is putting my total at. I just put my total at 23,305 words, which is good. I'm still doing great on words. But I'm tired. I just didn't have the brain for it today. I've been stressed about election stuff, though, right now things are looking pretty good. So 
there's that. I'm gonna go sleep forever, so that's the only update you get for today. I'm sorry, goodbye. Hello, it is day seven of Nano. <sighs> it's been a day. I slept for a lot of it. I finished the final Wheel of Time book. I was up all night reading it last night. We finished it. I will have a lot of thoughts. So look forward to that video in the near future. Um, we won the election, so that was great. I kind of slept through that, but you know, I needed the sleep, so it was fine. And then um, I did like one or two writing sprints with my friends, and I only wrote like 1,289 words. And then that put me at 24,594 words, which is fabulous. I'm almost at 25k. That's almost halfway. Fuck. I'm so tired though. I, uh, whew, I'm tired. We, we did the writing sprints and then we got a big group of my friends on to play Among Us. And it was the first time we got like our big group of like three different groups of friends like just merged into one game which was really really fun. We play it when we're on like a voice chat so we don't have to like deal with the typing nonsense in the game and it's so much more fun and chaotic. I loved it. I had a really good time. It was a good way to just like celebrate and take a deep breath. So that's all I've got for you today. I'm sorry. It's been, it's been a week so I'll try to give you a more detailed update tomorrow. Bye! friends here I am to wrap up the week of writing today is Sunday November 8th so I've made it through the first week of NaNoWriMo I'm out of breath it's been an exhausting week okay so I don't think I filmed much the last two days because there was a lot going on I also didn't write a lot so that's okay I've now written 27,176 words is my total um, today I wrote 2,582 of those. I did two writing sprints with Casey and Haley and we knocked those out so we just had some words for today because we was all struggling. Um, I'm still having the problem where I just not like figured out the structure of the second half of this book yet and I meant to kind of work on it today and fix it today but I completely did not because I didn't sleep much because I read Dawn Shard, which is the Stormlight novella that just came out and it was so fucking good, oh my god. So I was up all morning reading that and then when I went to sleep I didn't sleep much. So here we are. I didn't do all the things I wanted to do in regards to working on the novel and like trying to work on the structure of it and fixing it outside of just working on writing it, which I haven't done yet. So hopefully I will do that either later tonight or tomorrow and then we will have a better writing week next week so in the next writing vlog you will see better <laughs> obviously yeah i didn't write much yesterday um what i did write today i've been working like i'm in the same scene that i've been in for like three days now because i've only been writing like a thousand words two thousand words at any time and I'm not like the same scene but like the same chapter i guess you would say and so i haven't feel like i haven't like done much the past few days but i have i do like what i've written um, like the scene, the chapter that I've been working on, I've gotten some good stuff out of it, I think. Stuff that's usable in the future that I won't like cut out later because I hate it. So that's a good sign. I think I've made some progress there. Like I'm getting a better hold on just getting things on the page that I don't hate. But I'm still not just like overall happy with it. But I think most of that is because I'm still just frustrated with the structure. So I think once I can get a hold on that, I'll have a better time of just not hating everything I write and thinking it's trash. But I'm not sure. We just don't know. Um, 27,176 words at the end of week one of Nano, which is really, really good. I'm doing good on my word count, and I am proud of that. I am proud that I've been maintained writing every single day. I'm ahead of schedule, and if I wanted to try to aim for a higher word count than 50k, I mean, I can definitely do that, but I'm not gonna set like a goal for it because it'll just fuck me up. But. I'm happy with, with my word count and I'm happy with some of what I've written and I'm hoping that when you guys see me next week, at the end of next week, I will have a handle on structure of this book and I won't be complaining about it as much 
and maybe I'll tell you more about like what I've been actually writing like what's going into the story more about the characters and stuff because this week was just stressful and I feel like I didn't get like into that stuff and I don't want to get too much into it but I want to talk about it some more but this week was very stressful but it's okay now I mean it's not like it's not great but it's better I just can breathe for a minute you know I can breathe so I'm gonna leave you guys on that note I don't have much more to say thank you for watching everybody let me know in the comments down below if you've been doing nano as well how are you doing on your word counts are you struggling? Are you are you way ahead like me? How's it going? Talk to me about it. And if you would like some extra support and some friends to hang out with while you're writing, please join my writing group Discord. To join that, the link will be down below. It is an open invite and it's welcome to anyone. So please do. And uh, I'll see you guys next week for another writing vlog and we'll see where I end up then. <sighs> Life before death radiance.